Hi guys, welcome to the video. Imagine if I started my videos like that. Hey, hey, assistant coach, how are you guys doing? It's me, Johnny Sports, and welcome back to the Anderlecht Coach to Glory Career Mode. And this, my friends, is episode seven because Johan Kohl said, next episode, do your intro in your own language, German. There you go, it's episode seven. Let me know in the comments down below what is episode eight in your language, boys. We are now in an era of the playoffs. Anderlecht is currently in the playoffs and also in the quarterfinals of the Europa League. Now, if we go into the playoffs and if we take a look at the league table, you can see we are only four points behind the first and second spot. Those are the two positions that we try to achieve those are the spots that we need to get into in order to qualify for the Champions League, as you guys know. And by the way, I still can't get over the fact that I started my video with hi guys. Imagine if I said hi guys. Ugh. Assistant coaches, that's the way to go. Now, um, we're going to jump in there. Obviously, last episode we had a little bit of a confrontation. Um, I absolutely disliked Dimata and Nian both playing really bad in that striker position. Hib was moved into striker and then he scored goals and got assists. So we're giving another chance, another chance to Dimata and also Nian. If they don't perform, I swear to God, I'm going to switch to a 4-3-3 with a force 9. I'm going to put Hib into the center forward spot. I'm going to play him like Firmino. That's how I'm going to do it. If they don't perform, they're going to take it off. They're going to get taken off the starting lineups. And that's it. That's over. Your career is over, Dimata. Put it onto the line. Go ahead and show me what you can do. All right. This episode, though, we're starting it off in the quarterfinals against Olympique Lyon. Now, this is arguably one of the best teams still left in the competition. And they have, as far as I can remember, 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 they have completely destroyed their opponents in the last bit. So let's go over to, I can, can I go? Can I go into the other? Can I not check out the, hello? Oh, there we go. Okay, so um, Olympic Lyon have beaten their opponents. Where's the, am I blind? Oh yeah, they have beaten Bishik Dash by 6-2. There you go, boys. That's what I wanted to show you, 6-2. They have completely taken them apart and that's going to be a tough opponent to play against. But is if we do get past Olympique Lyon, the last massive opponent would be Arsenal, who are playing against Valencia in the Europa League, coincidentally. If you guys have seen it yesterday, Chelsea have made it through against Eintracht, which I was quite sad about. I wanted Eintracht to go through because obviously it's a German team. It's a team that is closest to me when I do live in Germany. And um, it didn't work out. Chelsea, congratulations. Eden Hazard getting the penalty to set them through. And then on top of it, Arsenal just completely destroyed Valencia. Aubameyang and Lacazette, man, if you put a good defense and a good midfield behind them, those two will do so much damage. But thankfully, Arsenal were never good in picking up the right players in those types of positions. So hopefully that continues. Sorry, Arsenal fans. I don't want you to become better. I want you to remain a top four merchant. Now, let's jump in there, boys. Oh, yeah. Top four merchant. Saying that, you guys are not, not even in the top four this year. So I guess a top six merchant. Yeah, let's put it that way. Sorry. I know a lot of you Arsenal fans will now dislike the video. Don't cry. Now, guys, if we can get this video to 2,000 likes, I will do something very special for you, all right? 2,000 likes and I will get a clean sheet. Yep, I'm promising it right now. 2,000 likes and you get a clean sheet. So go ahead and do it right now as I jump into the game where I definitely won't get the clean sheet. I'm looking towards the league game, but maybe, hey, Maybe, surprisingly, somehow, I can get myself a clean sheet in this one against Olympic Lyon. Who am I kidding? It's not going to happen. Let's continue though. Well, Memphis Depay seems to be the man that we have to de get, defend against in this one. Now, one thing I do know, Memphis Depay is known for, is not really known for heading the ball. So maybe crosses are not the best thing to do for this Olympic Lyon team. Now, let's go into a couple of the comments, boys. Here is Mikael Rautianen. He says, did you notice that you were playing against Sanderberger and Trossard against Genk? 
I actually did it. But after you guys told me, I realized, yes, I was playing against Sander Bagger, the beast from the CDM spot from the Crystal Palace career mode, and Trossard, the beast of the reserves team. We have played against those two in the last match, and we will play against them once again in this season because we have to play against the top six twice. But there is still another confrontation with those players. Marcos Alonso joined Olympique Lyon as a left back. That's interesting. It's a very good team though, man. And Dombele, Toussaint, Fekir, Dembele, Depay, Traore. It's going to be a tough game, lads. This is going to be a very, very tough game, especially in the defense. Also, by the way, guys, mid-game. Yes, mid-game. Look at the fan objectives. Uh, the silky skills obviously is done. The Red Devils, last episode, Fesharen played the pass into Dendonka, and Dendonka finished it, both from Belgium. Four out of seven on the Red Devils. Three to go. Career Revival, we're still on three out of six. And Break the Curse, obviously, still on one out of five. But as I said, if you guys hit 2,000 likes, I will give you another clean sheet in this match. In this episode. Not in this match. In this episode. Yep. I told you, not in this match. I told you guys, it's not happening in this one. I'm not going to pretend like I can defend against freaking Memphis Depay and the boys. It's not going to happen. Olympique Lyon already 1-0 in front and it is an away game for them. We are losing at home. Now we had this situation the last time around, if you guys do remember. I believe we lost against Bashakshir at home, so... Let's not lose, because I still remember that game being extremely intense and us just about making it in the last few minutes. So please, if you guys could step up right now, it'd be so nice, you know? It'd be a great thing. I would love to see you guys be successful here in the attack. Oh God, look at this passing play, bro. Didi Yaw, big save in the 26th. All right, lads, it is not just Depay who is attacking here. It is Dembele also getting a chance, I believe. But it could be another one right here. Oh, wow. Okay. Can you guys calm down, please? All right. Olympic Lyon. Chill. Beautifully played. Di Mata. Hib. Di Mata. Hib. Waiting. Di Mata. Yes! Let's go! That's what I'm waiting for from you, man. That's what I want to see. I want to see a striker's finish on the first time last episode you missed from like literally three feet out this time you score from that position on the first time that's what i want to see man this is the type of striker i need someone that is clinical in front of goal that is 82 finishing finally we're getting to see it dimata redeem yourself continue like this put it through the legs of the defender very well taken no chance for the goalkeeper at all 1-1 one, one. we're back boys we're back into the game let's get some more please and Dombele looking for that cross can't find it mate I'm defending that's why you see that's how you defend those positions down the wings let me just pretend for a second as if I know what I'm doing <laughs> sorry about that Traore Traore well played down the wings we will select Kara and Boji Kara and Boji I'm please can someone explain to me? I'm going to be nice about this. Can you please explain to me how... <laughs> how is my player not getting to that when I'm controlling him, trying to move him back to that header? Look at Kara and Boji, please. I'm being very quiet. I'm not screaming in your ear. All right? Look at him. Look. <laughs> he heads the air. Look at Mboji. Look at him. Look at him. <gasps> There's nothing there. What are you heading? Oh my god, dude. Fekir scores on the volley. Of course. Depay, Fekir. Who else? Who else wants to score, Leon? Come on. Give me all of them. Yikes. That's a bit fast, mate. Can you calm down? Yo, can you calm down? Chare, can you please calm down? You're a bit too fast, mate. Your stamina is low, but you're still sprinting at full speed. And Memphis Depay makes it 3-1. If we don't get one or two goals in this match, we're done. We're done. Europa League run is finished. So... Let's bring on the super subs and let's hope for the best. Gagne, Fersharin and Nian down the wings. We, we have to pull this off. We have to pull this off. We have to get at least one goal to still have a chance, to still have a glimpse of hope going into the second leg right here. So let's pull it off, shall we? Here we go. Di Mata. Di Mata. Gets through, hits it. Ooh, not a bad finish, you know. That was actually a really good finish. Timata playing better than usual. Nian, 
Neon, 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 neon. I believed in you. I thought you had it there, my man. I thought you had it for sure. Plays it to Di Mata. Di Mata waiting for these runs. He finds Fesharen again. Fesharen has saved us once. Can he do it again? Over to Di Mata. Oh my god, no. Oh man, that's exact. Oh. I don't want to freak out. I don't want to freak out. But please, Di Mata, can you freaking score? It's your left foot. I know it's your left foot. But can you please perform? You're by yourself. Hit it at least on target, even if you hit it onto the goalkeeper. I'm like, all right, at least he hit the target. But what are you doing, bro? What are you trying to achieve here? Are you trying to sabotage me? Quality in this team is just too good. If I concede one more, that's it, boys. That's it. If we concede just one more goal, that's going to be the end of us. Maybe we get one more attack. Nope. It is 3-1. Olympique Lyon have crushed our dreams of the Europa League, boys. And that's that's the golfing class. That's just... Ah, man, you can just tell that our team isn't ready for this level of football. It just isn't. We beat Ajax, but Olympique Lyon was just too much for us. And despite Di Mata maybe getting the best stats in this game, the, the things that he did in that striking position, they, they, they were just not good enough, man. They, they were just not good enough. In the moments where we need him the most, he just doesn't score. 3-1 against Olympique Lyon. That might be the end of our Europa League run. We have one more game to go away from home and there will be a lot of pressure. I don't know if we can pull it off. So after that big defeat, are we changing it? Are we going for a new uh, new starting 11, new formation? It is going to happen, boys. Now here's the issue. The first team is tired and someone in my comments actually told me about this. I liked it. I liked the comment, but I couldn't find it to show it on screen. But someone was saying, with the Europa League and the Pro League schedule, you might have games one day back to back. So basically on the 17th, we could have a Pro League game and on the 18th, we could have a Europa League game. So here on the 15th and 16th, it could happen. Someone told me in my comments. So I'm not looking forward to that at all. That's going to ruin my players completely, but now we have to step up against Ghent with the reserves team and then step up against Lyon to somehow have a chance of turning things around, which is going to be extremely hard. But this is the game where I promised you guys the clean sheet. It is going to be the reserves team right here. I'm going to change the formation of the reserves team to a 4-3-3. That's what I'm going to do right now, boys. We're going to see if we can pull something off with a new formation with a false nine. Nian drops there. Garnier down the right. Comes Makarenko's Chul. That is how we'll be playing, boys. Hopefully, this works out for us. There's a lot on the line for our team right now. So here it is, guys. Ghent currently is in the second position in the Pro League. Four points ahead of us. They are in that second spot that we need to get into at least in order to have a chance of qualifying for the Champions League. This is the biggest game. This is the opponent that we need to win against. And I promised you guys a clean sheet if you hit 2,000 likes. So I better deliver. I better deliver. 28 points, 32 on Ghent. Let's turn it up a notch. Let's play good football. No Di Mata in the starting lineup. Nian is in there, yes. But hopefully the formation change will help us out. Garnier, I'm hoping you do well in this one. I have a lot of hope in you, my man. Let's see if you can pull it off. Oh, it's Chakvetadze. The guy that you guys have suggested to me like a million times in past career modes. He is currently playing against us. And I like these kids so much more than the other ones that we have, by the way. Just wanted to inform you guys about that. Bakali. Oh, so who headed that? Oh, that wasn't our player. I was going for like a bicycle kick, maybe. Nian, can you head the ball from there, mate? Can you head the ball from there? Yes, you can. Not bad. Good start into the game. We are the team pressing the issue. Oh, wait. Nian. Nian. Beautifully played. Garnier. Green time. Yes. Garnier. Let's go. 1 0. Dude, it's the guy from the Youth Academy. The man with the potential. Look at him. Running behind the defense. Getting past them. And scoring from a very, very tough angle. Was there a deflection from the goalkeeper? I don't think so, right? No. No deflection at all. Just a perfect finish from this youngster out of the Youth Academy. Garnier, you absolute beast. Let's go. And there come the passes that might penetrate our defense. Now here's the spot where I need to defend for my life. No crosses allowed for our opponents. 
He could, here goes Delgarnier. Could be playing a beautiful through ball. He does so. Chulis through. Right or left footed? I don't know. I don't care because I hit it on green. Right or left footed? Doesn't matter. Let's go. 2 0, boys. Yes. Ghent, come at me. Garnier, one goal, one assist. That's what you want to see from a youth academy player, man. Let's go. We found him at Whitecaps FC, carried him over to the new squad. And all he does is impress. All he does is score. All he does is assist. Nicely done, mate. There's a run being made by Bakali. Maybe we can get something done for an objective here. Bakali cuts back, crosses it in. Garnier, can you jump? No, that's that's probably one thing that he can't really do. Is he going to take over completely here? Yes, he is. The cross is coming in. Nian on the flying header. Probably not the best idea. Should have probably tried a volley or something. No, Sokwe, you guys are not going to score from across here. Please, no. Oh my god, get the ball away, get the ball away, get the ball away. No, 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 no. Yes, oh my god, we did it. Solov, oh wow, okay, that's a good player that they have right there in their striking position. Bakali, Chu, Garnier on the volley. Go on. Ah, oh, man. I just wanted to create a beautiful memory, but sadly, I didn't hit it on green. Imagine if I could have smashed that one into the top left corner. No, 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 we got it, we got it. Clean sheet is alive, clean sheet is alive. I repeat, clean sheet is alive. A 61st minute, boys. We're gonna make one change and one change only. It is going to be our boy. Um, it is a fair shot and actually I can make more changes. Sambi is coming in as a center defensive mid and Sané is coming in as a right back because he is faster. Ah, then lads, it's just a few minutes of surviving. Just a few minutes of surviving. Here we go. Garnier, this man. Oh no, it's Sané actually. Sané stops, plays it into Garnier. Garnier, great first touch, great dribbling. Gets it inside. Oh my god, I bottled it right there. No, 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 stop, stop. A bicycle. No, it's a it's about to happen. Oh. Everything was happening, a scorpion kick pass, a direct cross, a header, everything was just in line, but thankfully he couldn't get enough power on that one. That would have cost us big time. It's only 19 minutes. I should be able to survive this if I don't do anything stupid, but doing stupid stuff is like my key thing, you know? Bakali, and there it is, stupid stuff. If you have a chance to score, go ahead and do so, but if you don't, it's fine, dude. It's fine, you don't have to, you know? You don't just have to. But Gagne wants to. Oh, wait. That's my mistake. Nope, it's happening. It's happening. Stop it. Nope, it's happening. It's happening. It's happening. Happen, 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 happen. Get the ball away. <laughs> Get the ball away. Clean sheet. Yes. Let's go. I'm happier getting a clean sheet than just getting a victory or anything. Because this is the thing that has been the biggest issue in my last few career modes. I concede too many goals. And for once, for once, we have defended well. Man of the match is clearly Garnier, who has just shown his worth, man. That kid is so good. And then also, looking at one of the comments from you guys, uh, one of you was saying, Omar El Jahari was saying, please, Johnny, change the boots of your youth players, Cabral and so on. We'll do right now, my man. Garnier is going to get these green ones because I remember giving these to Nabakin in our... Um, in our, what is it, the Kaiserslautern career mode. And he just, you can just tell where he is at all times. And this one has Messi written on it. Hmm, maybe that's a sign for Garnier, who knows? You know what, from this point on, I think I'm gonna give every single Youth Academy player these shoes because then they completely stand out. Every time they have the ball, you guys will be able to tell, oh, this is a Youth Academy player. So from this point on, every Youth Academy player gets these green shoes with Messi on it. Just so you guys know, just so you can tell which one is which on the pitch at all times. And of course, you guys were saying, untuck the shirts. There you go, untucked, mate. Garnier moves up to a 73 rating, boys. You can see his finishing is now on a 65. His attack positioning is on a 57. If I don't green time his shot, they just don't go in. And Van der Velde is slowly getting to that 60 rating. If he finally gets to that 60, boys, we'll be able to tell his potential. Now, as you guys know, 
Next match is up against Olympique Lyon and first match just didn't go into our way. Things were not working out, but maybe after this great performance with a clean sheet, we can somehow turn this around. If I win 2-0, is that enough? I don't think so because they have scored three away goals and I would only have two. So I have to completely batter Olympique Lyon and beat them 3-0. It's really looking bad for us. Next episode, man, I have to dig so deep and somehow try and come back into the Europa League tie. But if we can't, we have just beaten the second place team in the league. We are chasing down that second, uh, second place spot. Hopefully we'll be able to get that done because I obviously have an objective on the line for that one. The first team is fully fit again, and I am going to change it, boys. Yes, we are not believing in Dimata anymore. That one goal just isn't, um, isn't enough. It just isn't enough. I don't have any consistency coming from him. So, Hib now moves into striker, into center forward, I should say, and we are now bringing on someone else in the starting lineup. It's going to be Chul, who actually performs really well. I like Chul a lot in this team and then Donka moves a little bit further up the pitch because his shooting is ridiculous so if we can get him into a shooting spot we'll take the shot boys Chul or Trebel I'm thinking Trebel goes CDM Chul goes into center mid and then Jan moves onto the bench Dimata gets in there and then we will put We'll put Sané in there because he has a little bit of pace. He can be subbed in in any position in the defense. That's the plan from this point on. Lads, I hope you are okay with this one. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys might complain why you're putting Dimata onto the bench and stuff, but Hib, Hib is just a true finisher of this team. And Dimata has proven time and time again that just he just isn't good enough. It sucks to say because he has some really good stats on him, but... He just doesn't feel like that. He just doesn't feel like that. If he, does, if he does redeem himself as a super sub, hey, I'm all up for it. I will bring him back into the starting lineup. I will play him. But if he can't, hey, that's it. That's it for you, my man. I have important things to get done in this season. I can't rely on you getting things wrong. And again, talking about getting things wrong, EA have changed my players' positions. There's nothing better than something like that, right? I love when EA changes the positions of my players. Can we keep it this way, EA? Let's see, can you get it done this time? Hey, good job, EA, nice one, you actually did it. But with that being said, boys, this is it for this episode. Thank you so much for being here for the loss against Olympique Lyon, but then for the clean sheet against the second place team in the league. Now, there is a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel. We can get that second position in the league. I believe in it. But can we get it done against Olympique Lyon in the next episode? I don't know. Thank you so much for watching, boys. I hope you guys have a great day. Garnier is the player of the episode. Take care. P -p 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 Peace. Ha, you thought I would do it with this hand. Gotcha.